All right, so let's just take care of a problem. It says graph and then tell us things that are solutions and not solutions. So let's go ahead and graph this. There's a nice easy way to graph this right here. We could put, we can find the intercepts, but it's really easy to put this in slope intercept. So if I subtract 3x, I got y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 1, <coughs> which gives me a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of negative 3, so that's down 1, 2, 3, and over 1, adjusting for scale. Let's do that again. 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Um, looks like it's a solid line because that equal sign, right, something like this, and um, we are going to shade this one below. So it's going to be everything out here. Again, it's below because it says less than right there. Um, this guy's already in slope intercept. It's got a y-intercept of negative 2. That's nice. And it's up 2 thirds. Since the scales are the same, actually, I can actually just go up two lines. 1, 2, and over 3. 1, 2, 3. I mean, I guess technically I went up 4 and over 6, but that's still a 2 to 3 ratio. Um, this one's a dotted line, so let's do a dotted line. And this one says greater than, so it also shaded up. So we'll shade really light out here. And then where there's a double region, we'll shade in here dark. So, we did that, negative 3x plus 1, and let's pick some things. Well, right there, 0, 0 is going to be a solution because it's in the shaded area, and I can do anything on this line. I could say negative 4, 0, all right? Anything out here is not a solution. I could say 4, 0, not in either shaded, but I could pick one that's, I could say negative 4, 0 because it's only shaded once is negative 6, 6. So let's see. Negative 6 is right here, and negative 6 is right here. We'll have to say no. Must solve both inequalities. And, and it's only shaded in one area. It's not shaded in the dark area. All right, let's come down here and do another. So we got this guy. Y is less than negative 3. Well, negative 3 is actually a really thing that easy to do. It's a horizontal line at negative 3 right here, shaded down. And this is already in slope intercept. It says cross at 3, which is right here. Remember our scale. It says a slope of 1. So every time I go up 1, I go over 1 like that. Something like that. I'm glad that's a solid line because I drew it without thinking about it. And this one says shade down, so it's going to be everything out here. And light shade up here. All right, but this is the double shaded area. Uh, we'll do two things that are solutions. Solutions. Anything in the dark area, so I could go negative 4, 0. I come out here and say 8, negative 2. We'll say not solutions. I don't know. Let's pick something that's not shaded at all, like 0, 8, and then maybe pick something that's been shaded by 1, like there, like 4, 0. All right, we've got one more. This one's solved. It's got a slope of negative 8. I'm sorry, y intercept of negative 8 and a slope of 1. Um, I'm going to change that to a dashed line now, even though I missed the first bit of it. And that says shade up, so it's everything up above the line here, just like that. All right. Oh. Let's do this by x-intercept. x-intercept, if I cover the 4y, is 8. y-intercept, I put a couple of that, is 4. So my x-intercept, 8 right here. My y-intercept over here is 4. Um, it says it's just a dashed line, so let's get a dashed line going through those. And less than, so we shade down here. Everything over here is doubly shaded, and a little bit out here is lightly shaded. Solutions. We'll pick two. Looks like zero, zero works. And I don't know. Negative eight, zero. And we'll go not. And anything else pretty much outside. So let's go up here and go zero, eight. And maybe, I don't know, five, four. See, five, four is right here. It's only been shaded once. Alright, um, that's basically how it's done. And now we got something to do with parallel and non-parallel. But we'll do that on the next video. Talk to you soon.